अभी आपको घर पे संडे को पेपर है ना तो कौन सा लक्षण है सोशल भी है ना कंध है दीदी अंध मरा स्कूल में कैसे आपका मार्क बताओ स्कूल में अच्छा कितना लसन का था पॉलिटिक्स सब था नहीं है पेपर नहीं दिखाते है हाँ तो बता ना अच्छा नहीं तो नहीं हम लोग क्या करने का सोशल में हाँ हाँ अच्छा नहीं नहीं पूछ रहे सोशल का कितना है आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी ओके यू मेड नहीं फिर मैथ्स कितना है इंग्लिश साइंस सोशल में है ये वो तो मेन सब्जेक्ट में है ना अकॉर्डिंग टू माइ दिस थिंग यू ऑल शुड गेट अ That the target for that full mark, one or two plus, then only will come. So target full, okay? Hmm. We, but you have committed mistake. What mistake? What type of mistake is that? So you have to understand. See, when I am checking your paper, I used to write the remark. So what? What is lagging? so sometimes handwriting is not good or writing uh, when you are framing a sentence that uh, sentence is giving a wrong meaning understood so and uh, you are not reading carefully means the uh, question is having a not in between you are not reading that in not so you immediately start writing so that way mistake should be avoided clear huh? so then you can reach to perfection uh, that's about my subject other subject no daily practice is required hmm? so, uh, maths means daily you must practice you people uh, paper you got uh, exam ka school ka uh, how much uh, What is your daily social maths? Very poor. Not very poor. Only for science, six hundred. So, how much you need to spend your time? On each subject you have to, huh? so maths, you know, everyone is like. So that one, when every lesson together coming, you will find it as a must. 
you got to write uh, the you are confused so that is why if you are having a daily practice that it will be good hmm? understood you will take as a challenge no next to that your uh, half yearly exam semester exam is coming so that time all together the questions are the more lessons are the so you have to spend more time on your studies where you are lagging see when you study that uh, revision way at home so when my class is there my lecture is there you come and ask ma'am this part can you explain one saying okay i will definitely do understood but uh, without that uh, i cannot help you no hmm? clear let's uh, move forward Where we have studied the golden bar figure, we have covered it, right? Okay. You people are uh, writing your feedback or sending your feedback. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we uh, have learned about the uh, how. the evolution of printing had taken place remember the first it was in china and all the stories we have studied then we have studied with the uh, introduction or invention of mechanical printing the printing became faster and so many prints were uh, available for reading so that kind of sudden or drastic change in the uh, printing came to be known as print revolution you see that there what was print revolution it was not just a development see when we are telling revolutionary change so revolutionary means it is a development in that or progress in that but it is not just a development a new way of producing books what is it a new way of producing book it transfer this definition you have to study okay what is that a it transform the lives of people changing the relationship to information and knowledge and with institution and authorities it influenced popular perceptions And open up a new way of looking at things. Definition, you right? What is? Uh, sorry, what was print revolution? transformed the lives of the people comma changing the relationship changing the relationship to information and knowledge comma 
information and knowledge comma and with institutions and authorities with the institutions and authorities full stop it influenced popular perceptions and opened up new ways of looking at things got it now what does that do it transform the types of the people the persons who read the books got awakened by that a new light has come new knowledge has come that to transform the lives and at the same time the relationship also the rule is not coming so <laughs> a new type of relationship with information and the knowledge now what what is your this attitude if you want that you know something immediately you just uh, uh, open that google and search it your uh, interest and curiosity to know the things increase because of that only this facility is available earlier this facility was not available so people dwell into books so the relationship uh, to information and knowledge changed and not only that with institutions and authorities also the relationship changed earlier the relationship with the institutions and authorities were with the great fear church control everything so that condition changed and they look at that institutions and authorities with the, uh, that kind of respect and uh, that institution is providing some kind of uh, uh, knowledge to them this all things transform the lives okay and another it influences the perceptions that is see when you are going to a place you heard about that place but if you have a perception right it will be like that but once you go to that place your perception change into that reality understood when you are going to a water park so you heard about the oh, okay we are going to water park that much only our water park will be like that in this type of right scene but when you are reached into that place that perception that idea about that change and you are entering into reality so that is what open up new ways of looking at things understood so the unknown con non karmi that is what the advantage got the thing so what is why it is called a, now a new reading public emerge so earlier many people could not read now when the books are available and the cost of that uh, uh, publication or printing reduced so many copies are published so many people could get that copy purchase the copy so even uh, uh, in my uh, that is uh, college days and all i was really interested in reading all the types of books so when my books were the so before publication that is uh, if they are going to uh, publish it by next uh, uh, number so earlier that the, uh, this publicity will be there 
So if you are booking for that, yeah, this much a rate you will get. So like that. So when uh, this kind of advertisement is coming, I used to order that. Means I should get the first copy and at a reduced rate. That way the people began to order the book. See, the time and labor required to produce each book came down and multiple copies could be produced with greater ease because printing machine is there. Uh, see, um, earlier, before that, uh, uh, Xerox machine. Now, Xerox machines are having so many advantages, so many copies uh, at a time can be. Earlier, there was something like a cyclo styling machine. That ink, that black ink to be applied, then paper. So the person who is working on, that person have to, in my school it was that one. So the person who is working on it have to move that one, rotate it, so that the print will come. That is question papers and all are cyclo styling. Understood. So after that, the person who is working full of that uh, black, that uh, ink on hands, the dress, everything. So when this kind of Xerox machine comes, they have to press that number. How many copies are required? Only that they uh, are pressing that button, that many copies will come out. So this way, when it came out, multiple copies could be produced with the greater ease. Books flooded in the market. It is not a flood. It's a large number of books came in the market. So reaching out to an ever-growing readership. See, when the books are available, so people are very much interested in reading. So that people get their copies. Well, very curious. In our place, that the magazines are the weekly magazines, monthly magazines, bi-monthly. So actually, world is curious to get. So we, newspaper ke saath magazine we order that. So that day when the magazine come, people are curious. First I should read. <laughs> Means that the curiosity of the people increase. Got it? Access to books created a new culture of reading. What is reading culture? See, earlier it was availed to only the higher ups, richer sections or higher ups, because they could only purchase. But now, common people, they earlier they were only listening. Now, from that oral culture, it is transformed into a reading culture. They heard sacred text read out, ballads recited. What is that ballads? Dance dramas. Understood? Long uh, poetry or like that. With enactment when they are done, it can be understood. Isn't it? So that one earlier people used to recite and folk tales narrated. What is folk tale? Eh? Ah, that is in a particular locality, some kind of uh, stories developed no? according to the culture. Fairy tales, when we are talking about uh, that one. Uh, what, who is that Alice in Wonderland or like that really. So fairy tales. That is about uh, something which uh, it, it, uh, coming from imagination. But the local tales are called the folk tales. Because that particular locality a particular, you learned in history uh, nationalism in India who become a folk hero. Siddharam oh. Raju. So like that. Understood? In the stories, that person become a hero. So that way. Clear this point? 
knowledge was transferred orally earlier time it was transferred orally see can you imagine that you are uh, one full lesson i'm teaching orally you are just listen this thing is boring yeah so you cannot uh, nowadays the present day earlier time it was easy for them they used to remember reconnect the things Now present day, you have so many activities. That is why it is very difficult to remember the things. Huh? Extra, extra activities. Huh? If you were told to play computer games or mobile, let's uh, say, for two hours, you will play for three hours because you forget about the day. You are completely immersed in that. Huh? You are interested in that? Huh? No. What is your time pass? What do you used to do? There is when, uh, as an entertainment, eh? what you are? Uh huh. Mobile. 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 What do you do? Game. 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 This only I told you. Game. Game. I was talking about the same game. Hmm. Ah, what did you used to do? Game. You are interested in reading books, no? Not books, yeah. Okay. What did you used to do? You were passing and eh? YouTube. YouTube me watch a video, guys. Sir, watch a video like that. Kuch bhi dekh raha hai. Or are you interested in watching that uh, cookery, this things or like that? No. So what type of videos? That ah yes, so many serials or stories or like that. No, then what what type of things? Something is there. Okay, okay, you. So ah, uh, what is that? So that you may remember where you were. Eh? So which may. तुम्हारे मम्मी ने बुलाया तो उधर बंद करके कहान थे आपको याद होता है बट वेन यू आर आज टू रिमेम्बर वॉट वॉज टॉट इन द स्कूल और वॉट वॉज टॉट इन द क्लास यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू रिमेम्बर वो रिविशन नहीं किया दैट विल बी योर आंसर सो वाई एरियर टाइम पीपल Have only one means they heard, so they used to remember. Got the point very clearly. Huh. Now people collectively heard a story, also a performance. The earlier day, what the people used to do, that is, they used to gather in a place. The this ballads or any type of uh, performances were told to the whole group collectively they heard and they collectively saw a performance then afterwards what is that when the book was printed collectively it was not read individually the person read Now book could reach out to wider sections of people. If earlier there were hearing public, now a reading public. Got it? But the transition was not so simple. So we have seen that the hearing public say, "What public ho gaya? Reading public ho gaya." So if the make udi marna ne sab ho gaya kya? It was not that easy. Understood? So uh, machines to be available, people, the interest of the people to be seen. अभी आपको story read करने का, आपको novel read करने का, आपको religious book read करने का. So that interest of the people had to be gathered, then the book to be published. Got it? European countries, uh, sorry, uh, books could be read only by the literate. And the rates of literacy in most European countries are very low till the 20th century. 
we thought that in india only that uh, literacy level was low but in europe was also it was very really low how then could publishers persuade the common people to welcome the printed book to do this uh, they had to keep in mind the wider reach of the printed book even those who did not read could certainly enjoy listening to books being read out see i tell you uh, see are you watching television what what type of uh, things you watch a uh, movie okay you sports movies, movies. okay so this uh, when you are watching a movie your eye your uh, ear your presence will be in front of the television isn't it so that your full attention is concentrated on you don't want to miss a smaller portion of hmm? okay he is watching sorry sports if you are uh, little away also you could hear and you can understand but uh, you used to rush to that to see that if it is a football goal was like yeah kaise tha or if it is uh, cricket uh, the batting who uh, who uh, that is kisne uh, six mara or four mara or kisne out ho gaya kisne out kiya means that the curiosity to know the things are understood but when the books are there there are some limitations also so what they used to do very few people are able to uh, read so that person in taverns tavern means uh, in um, the corners of the village is tea stall type is there hmm? uh, in village areas you can see that uh, um uh, actually older generation used to gather huh ha ah. is the that is it is not alcohol like that even tea stalls are there how are it yeah ah in india there are no more huh so what is that the people used to gather it is not that the tea is not making at their home but wo chai ka dukan se chai peene mein kuch maza aata hai because people used to gather the the person used to read the newspaper aloud the others used to uh, listen and uske baad ek bada sa discussion of that this is how the nationalist movement i mean also people used to discuss about it understood so that is how these all knowledges were passed or a culture the centered print and printed material was all there yeah, this one is important okay or a culture the centered in print and printed material was orally transmitted earlier they were whatever they were talking now they have printed and the printed material is again read out so that is what it was transmitted the line of separate oral and reading culture become blurred i mean the, there is no such demarcation who is listening orally who is reading that the reading people are there this uh, uh, listening people that difference is very negligible and the hearing public and reading public become intermingled okay now this part is very important eh? okay now the people discuss so many type of things earlier what was told to them they used to believe so uh, religion that is especially christianity europe when we are studying it is about the christianity ये सेक्रीफाइस करने का बोलेगा तो करना पड़ता है क्यों करना नहीं पूछेगा व्हाई दे हैव टू डू दैट सेक्रीफाइस दे वर नॉट गोइंग 
He was not allowed to question. But when the Bible was printed and people got an opportunity to read that Bible, they found that what was taught to them was wrong. What is written in the Bible and what was taught to them are completely different. So that gave rise to religious debates. Understood? And when people began to uh, debate on it, they began to question also. So, uh, let, let me uh, just say, I am writing one word. Huh? I, uh, let me see. Okay. I am just writing like this. Rikya word. You will start asking, what is this word? You know, you debate to say debate. So, debate or spelling is not here. So, you start questioning. So, so many types of questions we can do. Ask. Then, the religious hearts began to be afraid. Did you understand? See, I wrote it and you asked. First, you are afraid to ask directly. He will tell you. He will tell you. So, slowly, slowly they began. Then afterwards, Hikmat karke. That way, the people began to question the authorities. And the authorities started fearing that. That is what a fear of cringe. Okay. Not everyone welcomed the printed book. And those who did also had fears about it. See, I have told you, I was very much interested in reading. But uh, what type of book? There was no such a restriction what type of book. In that age, that was that uh, very, that, uh, what is that, teenagers. Teenagers, the interest and curiosity to um, read um, love stories or like that. So that kind of problem. Naturally, when that elders see that, uh, they will shout. Now, the present generation, that is parents are also uh, educated and uh, so much awareness is there, they will not shout. You know? Okay, yeah, you read the books. But at that time, we used to get shouting, lot of them. So we used to hide that books and then go to that washroom and uh, read them. Means publicly, we cannot read such kind of books. There are no pictures, right? Pictures are not there, but novels. novels. But that kind of books we are uh, reading, the uh, that is, uh, elders are very much uh, the same. Ah, we were. They think that it will spoil us. Mm. Reading such kind of uh, stories or novels is spoiled. But uh, at present, we are telling you read. You are in the, uh, this means uh, reading will develop. So, what happened? Everyone did not welcome. Huh? They were afraid of it. Many were apprehensive about the effects that the uh, easier access to the printed word and the wider circulation of books. We sabke hath mein aisa book jayega to kya hoga? They were apprehensive about it. Hmm? So, that is, this if you are getting everyone's hand, then what will happen? So, it could have 
on people's mind that is what effect will be there with the minds of the people it was feared that if there was no control over what was printed and they read then rebellious and irreligious thoughts might spread at this point you have to uh, learn what is that here rebellious and irreligious so they made a society which was so much religious like now this type of books when the people read they become irreligious and the people become rebellious also what is the meaning of rebellious and it was telling english ah aggressive type understood so that is why they wanted to control the publication of such a books are you getting hmm. uh, if, if that happened the authority of valuable literature would be destroyed huh? now if it is to everyone's hand then the valuable literature's authority will lose now uh, we are giving priority to textbook that is considered as the valuable one this all things are reference purpose and this is additional knowledge it is simplified understood so textbook is the valuable and you are um, using only such kind of uh, so seriously we we'll start telling ki ncert mein use karega to tumko punishment dega understood that is the valuable document according to the rules so that way authority started telling the authority of the valuable literature would be destroyed expressed by religious authorities and monarchs as well as many writers and artists This anxiety was the basis of widespread criticism of new printed literature that had begun to circulate. Now there was some kind of uh, discrimination about the valuable books and the uh, unnecessary books. Hmm? So religious authorities and uh, kings. and some kind uh, some writers also began to make a classification of valuable books okay so that is what the, the this anxiety was the basis of widespread criticism samajh mein aa raha hai na okay now let us consider the implication of this in one sphere of life in the early modern era maybe religion so what is the effect of this in religion let me write it up otherwise you know this will take very much time so yeah. religion how this one influence now you look here see i have told you about the uh, bible which was first uh, printed it reached to that uh, people people got an opportunity to read now one particular person that is uh, martin luther not martin luther king martin luther okay ah uh, he was a reformer religious ah uh, martin luther king that person was in america he was working for civil rights huh? okay this martin luther was a religious reformer okay what he did he prepared 95 theses okay theses and in that thesis he criticized that uh, uh, roman catholic church at that time the powerful church was the roman catholic church 
in the Ro uh, roman catholic church there were so many dogmas dogma means the uh, unnecessary uh, that show in the bible it was written that is not to worship any image or idol or like that so this was made and so many such kind of teachings were there now what happened this martin luther he presented 95 theses against the roman catholic church and pasted on which church no no church door in wittenberg okay the fourth line yeah fourth line okay church door in wittenberg i mean 95 theses were prepared and pasted on the door of wittenberg church through that he challenged now anybody uh, dare enough to tell these points are wrong come so he challenged the church authorities in his word see it challenged the church to debate his ideas luther's writings were immediately reproduced in vast numbers and read widely he just pasted on wittenberg church then now church was afraid uh so many copies of this was circulated among the people now the people got an opportunity to read what happened this led to a division within the church and the beginning of protestant reformation understood there are two questions right protestant and uh, catholics so or earlier only catholics were there now after reading the 95 theses a group split from the catholic church and then they formed into protest and this reformation movement came to be known as protestant reformation now you tell me the sprint helped or not if print was not there how could they get an opportunity to read hmm? uh, i i will take you back to that uh, um, our uh, this thing uh, mahabharata and ramayana when it was uh, serialized in the television so earlier that uh, generations they were not able to read that uh, mahabharata because it was written in sanskrit so people they worship because they heard about it. but they don't know why they are ah see these all things but when it was serialized the older generation got an opportunity to understand what it is we know that uh, uh, vishnu's different avatars one of the avatar is lord krishna so when people began to understand even ram is also another avatar so many avatars are there so people began to understand who was he why is this division is there so those who want to worship the vishnu in that form they worship vishnu those who want to worship lord krishna they worship like that those who worship ram they worship ram so this kind of understanding the people got i used to remember the old images of uh, that uh, kerala that uh, so the hindu families they were not knowing but when the serial uh, was the ramayana and all mahabharata and all there was a music uh, so before the starting 
one is that uh, uh, they are uh, calling that is war that uh, music was there so people used to wash their feet hands and all as if they are going to temple and sit in front of the uh, television and they began to worship the actor who played ah there are many arun gobind and all they began to worship that actor because that person is only coming in front of them so this kind of influence is there when print is the they could read and understand but when this television came they could see they could hear they could understand so that much changes happened so protestant reformation you understood now deeply grateful to pray ha ah, then what is that luther's translation of new testament is sold 5000 copies within few weeks and the second edition appeared within 3 months so that many copies of new testament the bible ka new testament ka copies began to be circulated he was so grateful about that print why he was grateful if print was not the he had to write all these things and how much time it would take to complete one book yeah. ah so that is why he told that printing is the, this uh, quotation you have to uh, write printing is the you just write write down printing is the ultimate gift of god and the greatest one who made the statement ah uh, martin luther martin luther then why Because you knew that it would take time to write so many books. You just read that one. Ah, that your Protestant revolution was possible because of that. Secondly, Luther's translation of New Testament sold five thousand copies within few weeks, and the second edition appeared within three months. So it was because of the print this was possible. got it uh, that way you have to write what you told is also correct but it you may not get mark you learn to write what is the apt reason so the scholars in fact think that the print brought about a new intellectual atmosphere and have spread the new ideas that led to reformation uh, not only uh, luther many other scholars also believed that uh, the print helped a new intellectual atmosphere see earlier they believed what was told now they started seeing the things and then only believe now uh, have you gone to science lab साइंस लैब में क्या करते हैं आप एक्सपेरिमेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट करके वो जो थियरी प्रूव हो जाता है नाउ आई विल जस्ट आस्क आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू क्वेश्चन एनीथिंग साइंस आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू क्वेश्चन यू नो दैट एच टू व्हाट इज दैट व्हाट टू हाइड्रोजन आइटम and one oxygen see can you get the hydrogen in your hand no can you get oxygen in your hand but everywhere it is the if both of them meet together it will burn scientific theory is the it can 
nobody is able to make water by combining electrolysis huh? electrolysis have you made that one water ha huh. people have tried i think it is a scientific theory but how this one they they have to make only that much hydrogen they ah, have to ah but so it is proved if this is possible for everyone because the both are burning understood if they combine then only that much uh, that your combination it come then only it can be formed so what is that theoretically it is studied but practically then then everyone can make water when water shortage is there no no ma'am can you see Uh, H2 plus O2 exponent. It is not O2. It is O2. No? Like uh, when you com before combining, right? Water is H2 plus O2. Ah, uh, uh, W. What balance? Uh, this um, you just uh, ask this question that uh, how water can be produced using hydrogen and oxygen because both of it are producing hydrogen and oxygen both are inflammable ha and how ha that is the that electrolysis see ha you might have seen that uh, oxygen uh, cylinders were made when a patient is in the hospital that one oxygen mask is attached to that in that water only that one is separated and it is going in as oxygen gas oxygen and Oxygen, yeah. Oxygen is our uh, dynamic molecule. Uh, that means that each uh, hydrogen molecule has two uh, hydrogen atoms uh, glued together, two oxygen atoms glued together to form an oxygen molecule. When those molecules form together, form a new kind of orbital that's around from those electrons, lose energy, form a new orbital. See, the energy gets away. If it is possible. Then when there is water shortage, why can't it uh, be produced in large amounts? Ah, okay. It is chemical. Chemical only, no. It is formed. So that the chemical formation is not uh, easy one. Lab may form it, but the chemical formation is not. Ah, so it is. Push hydrogen down into this uh, jar. Now the jar doesn't have a bottom. If it has here the bottom, the bottom is cut out. And the uh, consequence of that is that when we take the tube off, air pressure from underneath is going to push hydrogen back out through the little tube and form a little jet of uh, hydrogen. There's oxygen in the air, and if we try to provide a little bit of extra energy, it will match, and these two will start to combine to form. Water molecule. Well, let's try it. Uh, 
First of all, we're going to turn on the main valve, then uh, turn on the auxiliary valve here, and uh, fill that up with hydrogen, and take the tube off, set it to the side, provide a little bit of extra energy, boom, and there we have it. We have hydrogen, oxygen, combining to form water, a very hot flame, sometimes used to cut steel. A little color. Wow, well, that's quite an explosion. A dessert, no. When energy. They lower their energy by forming new orbitals. The orbitals are glued together. This is the molecule. Like that is what? So, yeah. what, what is my question? We know that theory, but we are not able to make it with practice every day. Ah, we can't. It is not ideal. Ah. So that is what you just uh, come back to that. No, no. See? Ah. Uh, textbook. Yes. Now, uh, Okay, you understood that uh, particular part of people began to question, people began to criticize. Now, because of that criticism, dissent occurred. What is dissent? Dissent is disagreement. Hmm? So, print and popular religious literature stimulated many distinctive individual interpretations of faith, even among little educated working people. Now, when you observe people, nowadays uh, that much is not there. Earlier, uh, when uh, these mobiles were not so popular, workers used to carry a small uh, radio to hear commentaries. Understood? Now, Everything is available, mobile also, they can see. Okay. The commentaries they used to listen. When uh, public places, then a big uh, TV screen is there, uh, people used to gather and watch that uh, matches. Nowadays, that many press is not there. So, people have their own interpretation. See, if they expect, uh, that particular person will uh, that, uh, hit a sixer, but that person got out. So the people who are watching that game have the role that they got so annoyed. Why didn't he hit him? So recently that last T20, that West Indies won. So India could have been easily won in that. But India hardly. So why this much popular uh, players are there, world famous players are there, why India? Uh, were beaten by a small team of the Indies. So people have their own interpretation about it. Like that. This is what happened about the print also. When we start reading the books, we make our own interpretations and started talking about it. Got it? Come back to that page. Continue.